Peterson mm. here. Today we've got our movement series. Um, this is going to be fantastic. We've already had a look at our, some of our hitting stuff and I've still got about another 30 odd 30 videos to make which is no problems at all. But I wanted to get into the movement series because with movement at home you can seriously improve your movement. I think we've got some sensational methods or new ways that you've probably never even seen. And I'll qualify that by saying if I can show you something today that you've never seen before or you've never realised that it was the case before or that nobody's ever shown you before, um, if I can show you something right now, um, hopefully you'll take interest in all these move, in all these videos and not just treat them as though just another YouTube video. This is the best quality content stuff that I've got as far as movement goes, and so I'm not going to hold back too much on anything. I may be one or two little things, but um, for the most of it, it'll all be there. So I'll show you one or two things right now on this first video, and if you have never ever seen those before, if no one's ever told you anything about those, if you think there's some merit in them, have a really, really close look in this video series because um, it's going to be fantastic and it should be dynamic. Awesome opportunity for you guys to actually change what you do because you're not going to be practicing bad habits. So you've got a wonderful opportunity here to actually practice only good habits for a while. So if you can get into a movement series and get quality information, not just Joe Blow from YouTube reckons you should do this, people that are qualified that understand how to move and have done thousands of hours watching and being involved in squash to actually get the best possible outcomes. And that's what we'll show you today. So the thing I'm going to show you today that you've never seen before, possibly never seen before, is a squash lunge. A squash lunge, you go, well remember when we do lunges and people, um, I've got my squash court all laid out here by the way, there's my tee for the back of the court and there's the width of the court and everything here. So if I flip this around so we go for the front of the court and there's my tee, that's my back court position, that's my front court position. And there is our tee, hopefully you can see that, but um, it doesn't matter if you can't for now. So this is the dimensions of the front court here, we're at 6.4 metres wide, and I think we're about 5.4 metres from the front wall somewhere there. So that's just where we are. So when people teach a lunge, they do this, they have their hands on their hips and they go down and they step and they do all this, they keep their body structure up and hopefully you don't go too far over your knee this way, because um, what... Basically, we'll talk about that a little bit further as well, but you can protect your knee a little bit with your quality of your lunge and everything as well. So that's that one. Okay, I went over a little bit then, sorry. There, so if I can step so I don't push my knee too far over, and I want this to be basically straight up, that's pretty good. Body up and back straight. So what happens there is you're basically just practicing a squash lunge, a normal standard lunge. So here, that one there, there, or a slightly extended one, through to here so that's what will happen as the cats come to join me which is all fine so if I go from there to there and back that will be my lunge and that will be my normal standard swing okay so what most people want you to do is they want you to um, come in bang hit and then come back and you see this thousands of times on video on almost every video that you see they go from here there bang and they come back and they come back to the tee so if I was up here there and come back to the T. Sorry about that, I just had to stop the video because I had to pat the cat for a little while, otherwise he just hangs around and gets in the way and all the rest of it. So that's all right, job done with that one, so now we can move on. So we were at our squash lunge. Remember we were going from here and you come back and people tell you to run backwards. So basically from here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a different way to lunge and a different way to actually um, take all the pressure off your back when you lunge. So there's two different types of squash lunges that we're going to look at. I'll say three, let's say they're standard where it's just there and it's comfortable and there's no trouble whatsoever. So here's, this, here's the first one, this is when you drive down the wall because the, the difference to when you drive down the wall is to when you cross court. So if I drive down the wall here, bang, I'll bring my leg in, this leg in here, and then I'll bring it back. So what that does is it, there's a center line of balance that you have. And this center line of balance is instead of going here and then your centre line stays around about here. And then trying to bring that back, what happens is I can move this centre line of balance. I'll put a line on the screen so you can see it. If I can move this centre line of balance in, which diffuses all the power off my, on my back because I can hit a ball off one leg. And I'm fully balanced here. So I'm 100% balanced right here. So I can swing there and then come back. So it looks like this from there, there and out. So if I just bring that in, and you can tell how much stress people are on, as in squash players are on, by how far their back foot comes in. So to put that in context, if somebody's hitting the ball here like this, and they're swinging and they're coming off the ball, they're under no stress whatsoever. 
but as soon as that back foot comes in a little bit here, you'll see that they're under a little bit of stress because they've had to go and change their balance or maintain their balance through the shot. So that's just how all that works. Okay, so let's expand that a little bit. Let's look at the cross court. So with the cross court, of course you want to follow and watch the ball. So you don't come in here, go crack and then come off and then turn and see the ball. It doesn't work like that. What you do is you'll leave this back foot in. So I'll come from here, there, I'll leave that back foot in and follow the ball out and it will be no trouble at all. So this back foot becomes critical because it fixes your balance, it saves your lower back there and you come off the ball really fast, really quick and really fluently. So you've seen people, I'll show you the difference. So you get people that'll come in here and they'll go like that. That looks really awkward to me because this here, there, is really fluent. So this is just a phenomenal little move that just works extremely well. So it's unbelievable just how fluent and how capable you get. So a good training method or a good way to practice this is to work on one down the wall and one cross court. So we're here, we can go one down the wall here and one cross court and off we go. So it's a great little practice. You can do 15, 20 swings or 10 swings each side or anything like that and there's not a problem at all. So it works really, really, really well. So this is what I call the squash lunge. You can do it on real large steps. You can do it on full extension. So you can go from there right out to there and still come off the ball or right out to there and still come off the ball really well. So that you sort of bounce off your leg and your balance comes in and comes out and it's not a really hard drive. And when you bring this one in here, here and you go cross, that foot drives off because you can store energy and power energy through that really well. So it works magnificently well. Now I know you've probably got other questions about movement and how you come out and what you do and the best way and there's a problem if this happens and there's a problem if that happens. But I'm going to basically just um, alleviate all those concerns that you have by explaining why we do stuff and how we do stuff and what the best way to go is and why it's so much better. So there's so much involved in this series. It's going to be unbelievable. It should be fantastic. So, and I can guarantee you that's just one little thing of about like 20 things that I can go and show you and you'll talk, you'll talk about it um, with your friends and whatever else and I understand how come we've been told this way for so long and now this stuff's coming along and um, it seems to be so much better. And it's that, the simple answer is everything evolves. That if you're still doing the same stuff they did 20 years ago because, um, and the reason why that is very prevalent is because so many coaches just teach what they were taught when they were kids. And so they end up just teaching stuff which is like 20 years old. And so they just think it's the best way. And then they, they get so locked in on it because they've told so many people how to move and what to do that they don't even look for better ways. I work on a system of continual improvement. I chop and change all the time. I learn and I develop and I change things with all the time. And, I, and, and it's like a fluid thing. I learn off other coaches. I learn off other players. I learn off other sports. And we'll talk a lot about other sports and things as well because I look at other sports like badminton a little bit like tennis, I look at soccer a fair bit, and um, even things like fencing, strangely enough. But all because they're dynamic movements and they're sort of movements that we need to have really good control over. So we're going to go through all those. For the first one for today, that was your squash lunge. So your squash lunge, all you do is you bring your back foot in for down the wall and you bring it in and leave it in and come out for cross court. So if you can do, so let's start our little process. We're going to try and get a little... Um, hitting circuit going so that you actually do a moving hitting circuit every day and or every second day maybe you do your hitting circuit one day your moving circuit the other day so we start with this process and we start by going let's do three sets of 10 shots on each side so when I say 10 so it's 10 backhands and 10 forehands three sets so that'll be 60 swings total and you've got to come back don't come back to the tee for now let's just concentrate on what we're trying to work on we're trying to work on this foot and just get comfortable with that move so you just feel capable there, 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 comfortable and capable. Don't be fast, be fluent, be well balanced because everything that we teach you about is gonna be under complete control and full balance. So it's gonna be, un I just love court movement, I love it to death and, and there's so much here that it's just gonna be fantastic. And if you can please do something for me, which is actually just give us a bit of feedback, that'd be fantastic because it makes a difference. I produce all these videos and so on and you might get like two people actually making any form of comment and I thank those people greatly from, from 
from right deep inside because it makes all the difference when you get feedback of people that are actually enjoying and understanding of um, just the, the, the improvements and the benefits that it's brought to their game. So if you can, if not, if you can share it a little bit with a few people because there's a lot of people that need this and anybody, no matter whatever your standard, you improve your movement and you improve your standard. It's that simple. And there's so many guys, even great guys, really good guys that I look and watch and geez, they move terribly. It's just phenomenal. If they got quality movement patterns and methods and systems, There'd be just no stopping them, it's phenomenal. So there you go, squash lunge here, there, back foot in for down the wall, there, and there, and cross court. That's the one for today. If you like this, there's gonna be so much more, you're gonna absolutely love it. Get into it and done with a bit of luck, we'll develop your game to a whole new level by the time we get back on the court.